Right, um, photo line, a Photoshop alternative, and we're going to look at a couple of features here. A uh, few features. Um, well, you know what, we'll just start here. And it's basically somewhat the same as in Photoshop, same here, pretty much the same. Liquify or distort click here once and you'll see that you get this grid and just you know use that tool and hey what do you know now I got something like a liquify filter just better so uh, you know this what's better about this well I don't need to launch some, you know, another window or anything to to make this work. And also, you'll see that hey, this is an adjustment layer. You can turn that on and off. It doesn't merge like in Photoshop. Stupid Photoshop. So, okay, let's make a new layer here, for example, and choose the regular brush tool. And what happens here if I paint here now? You'll see that hey, what's that? interesting it's basically distorting this as well uh, these are basically just vector shapes hold down shift to keep the aspect like that and yes it's affected by that adjustment layer as well and um, Let's see, attributes. I can change this for a vector to RGB. Um, now it doesn't work quite the way that I would like for it to work, but um, that's how it is. So, a lot, a lot of you would probably prefer the, this way of uh, this function, though. Uh, Oh, just kind of like old-fashioned. Uh, I like to use rectangle and circle lasso instead. So, just my uh, let's see. What should I hold down here? Shift. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. For some reason, it doesn't make it 100% circle now, but where does it? Anyway, I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. We're just gonna jump to the lasso tool and um, just click like that. And it will cre create lines like this. However, uh, well, I can hit escape now. I'll close it. Control D to deselect. But I can also draw like that instead of just, you know, clicking like this. So you can click here to close it. I guess it's double click. All right. I don't know. It's kind of difficult doing that using a wake though, so um, I just hit the escape button instead. Um, okay. Text tool, uh, vector paint tool. I prefer the Photoshop ones here. I think those are better, but check them out. Crop tool, basically the same thing. Color precision, color picker, same stuff. Eraser, same stuff. Uh, let's have a look at these guys here, or basically this one. Uh, well, so you got the brush settings here, right? So you can adjust that. Thing though, if you adjust it, then you choose another brush. Then you go back to that brush again, you will lose the settings. So hopefully they will fix that. In a future version, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Um, I did report some issues with the finger paint tool. Uh, 
where it kind of like when I draw, the more I draw, the darker it gets. So I was like, you know, can you guys fix that? And they did. They fixed it in three days. So this problem should be solved now. Uh, so uh, also one minus here with the finger paint is that you can't really use it in color mode like uh, like in Photoshop so what you need to do here is you need to clone the original and uh, just you know distort that color that you want to distort uh, of course you can see it gets darker here now because of the bug but anyway if it wasn't darker then you would basically see that well it would be something like this right in in the beta they have fixed that so but anyway uh, because in photo line we don't have these uh, normal uh, screen uh, darken shadow hue color functions because we don't have that we, we need to clone this one and uh, do whatever and change this for for example color or screen or whatever and now you can see that the color is smudged down so that's how you do that and same stuff goes for the brush tool now already show this uh, brighter brighten and darken same as Photoshop the cool thing here is the filter brush you don't have that in Photoshop and um, photo line does uh, for example let's say minimum for example now what it's doing is it's using the minimum brush pretty cool so Photoshop cannot do that and you also got these other filter brushes this is basically the same as um, as uh, Photoshop uh, let's see you now the the heel brushes and okay so let's take this one for example basically the same and uh, yeah choose a point here with the alt key and draw here and we'll see that you get that um, so basically somewhat the same stamp tool well um, Basically, not the, the clone tool. It's basically, just a brush tool. So that's what it does in Photo Line. This is more like the Photoshop stamp tool. So the copy brush. So it basically just copies whatever area you choose here and just clones that to another layer. I mean, another area. Uh, basically the same as Photoshop and same and basically the same and well yeah the earbrush tool well you can see what it's doing um, as for selecting these guys, they, they don't, uh, well, it doesn't really soft select that much, so it's kind of like, well, you can turn this one up, I guess, but it's not quite this. oops, that was a lot. It's not quite the same as in Photoshop, but, um, well, I get the idea. of course yeah you saw that already and uh, now we didn't really co cover these filters did we so 
For example, in Photoshop, I can Gaussian blur, but I can't really undo it. Here, I can just, you know, go like that, and I can turn this off and or on later on. So, for example, I can go like th this now. I can uh, go like this or like that or whatever. And uh, okay, and then I can activate that again. So, yeah, Photoshop eat dirt. Also, you got a lot of um, layer styles here. I'm really I'm not going to go into this, but you can group layers and stuff, and also merge them down like in Photoshop and reduce to a background layer. Um, well, I think that's about it. I'm not going to go too much into the masks. Um, Okay, let's just reduce this to a background layer and what I can do now is that I you know in Photoshop you can rotate it the document what you do here is that you basically do what I did now you just merge it down or I don't know it might be better ways to do it I've only used this program for a week so uh, but anyway I merge it down then I rotate it like that, and then it's easier really to get the kind of stroke that I want. So instead of ro rotating the document like in Photoshop, I'm just rotating the document uh, 90 degrees. So that's how you can do that. Um, yeah, I think I covered about most of it. So, um, you can use this free for 30 days. Check it out. It's 80 bucks. 80 bucks, yep.